It's difficult to put into words what projects like Life Beyond Earth and New Frontiers truly mean. The opportunity to work with so many leading minds from places like Skidmore, Owings and Merrill, the European Space Agency, Lockheed Martin and MIT is incredibly special. While navigating science fiction from science fact, we always aimed to be as real as possible with all aspects of what we showed. And while never short on technical challenges, we always tried to stay true to the heart of what we were trying to capture. What would that look like? What would that feel like? Most importantly, how could we make that feel like home? Animating on this project was a lot of fun, but had some real challenges too. As an animator, you're taught very early on the importance of conveying weight and the various techniques to achieve this. A common critique of student work is that things look a bit floaty. However, with the reduced gravity on the moon, floatiness is exactly what you're going for. So I had to readjust a lot of my intuitions for keyframe spacing and timing in order to achieve that look. For Life Beyond Earth, I was given the task of designing the FUI graphics for the computer screens that appear throughout the film. The visual language was key to these designs for building a world that felt optimistic about the future, yet grounded in realism. I wanted to make sure that every aspect to the on-screen graphics had a purpose and usability. I did this by avoiding large bodies of text, clunky menus and too much options all at once. The data that sat on screen was pulled from various NASA website sources and an extensive amount of research was done to assure that the readings and terminologies were as accurate as possible. This was a fantastic project to work on. Despite these designs being on the screen for a short period of time, they tell a story of astronauts landing on the moon. The hope is that more details are noticed every time you watch the film.